E, let's install Kali Linux on Parallel 17 on M1 Mac. And then, from the command line, we'll update it to the latest and greatest. And then, we'll create a user account because the default's Parallels, and we don't want to use the default account. And then next, we'll create it, we'll add it to the sudo group so we can change it to be super user, so we have all the superpowers, so we can do all the super commands, and it's going to be wonderful. And I'm going to Parallels, and I'll go File, New, and of course the M1, yep, I know. And right here, download Kali. Click on that and continue. And download. So this will take a little time. As soon as it's done downloading, it's then gonna verify it, and then it'll go into an install process, and it goes very quickly, so you'll see. So now it's validating. Hopefully I fast forwarded through all this, and you didn't have to watch that. Now it's decompressing it, unarchiving it. It's going pretty quick. And there it is. Wow, came up pretty quick. Let's change it. So here we are. Once us type in a password. So you'll notice that the user account is Parallels. And a little bit later, we'll create a new account so we can just kind of skip the Parallels account and just leave it around. And I do recommend a complex password. Now, this right here is popping up. It wants to install the Parallels tools. It loads tools so that it can work between the OS and the virtual machine so that it runs more efficiently. So you want these tools. All right, so I gotta click once to capture the mouse. There we go. It went pretty good this time. All right, and if you can't wait those three seconds. So we're in, yeah, all right. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm open a terminal window. So I can do our magic. We're logged into the Parallels user that's created by default does have sudoers. So if you're familiar with uh, Debian style Linux like Ubuntu and Kali, you have to use a sudo, which is basically like super user. And so we'll do a sudo to run root commands and root is king or queen of the machine and can do anything. So sudo. And because I know I'm gonna run a bunch of commands, I'm just gonna go ahead and cheat and just go straight to root and leave it at root. So sudo su, and that stands for substitute user, and then dash says I want you to just do the root user. So hit enter. Okay. Who am I? I am root. Yes. With Kali and the other Linux, there's a GUI way to do updates, but the GUI takes a while to do things, you know? So I'm gonna do this command line because, yeah. And you'll notice right here, it says this is 2021, Kali Linux 2021, uh, March release. So I wanna be on the latest. It came out 2022, February came out. So we wanna to move to the latest release. We'll do LSB underscore release. Let's try it again. LSB underscore release dash A. And that tells me, hey, that's what we're running right now. Why did I do this? So I can show you what we're running now. So when we finish all the fun we're gonna have, you'll see, oh, wow, we're on the newest version. So cool. I'm gonna paste this. And let me show you, apt get. So apt get is a Debian, Kali, Ubuntu way of doing updates. Um, Red Hat, it's yum. So apt get, and then we'll do update. So apt get update, we'll do an update to the current OS. Then you'll do apt get upgrade. So any components that are out of date since it was this version was released, it will upgrade. And then last but not least, right here, this will upgrade the distribution to the latest that's available. So yeah, and by putting ampersands in between each one of those commands, it's gonna run one command, and then it'll run the next command, and then it'll run the next command. You don't have to get involved at all. Well, there'll be a couple cases where you have to type a capital Y, there's one case where you have to click an OK, but yeah, here we go. So now, off to the races. And it's downloading all this stuff from the internet, so this may take a little bit, but not too bad. There's my capital Y, it says, yeah, you wanna do these updates? Yes, I do. Eventually. Okay, so your pops says, oh, hey, obsolete major update of Postgres SQL going to third uh, going from 13 to 14. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes, okay. Okay, so now it's upgrade time. Boom. 
Still making progress. Still making progress. Let's see in a minute. The net, the network's going to drop for a moment. And then come right back because the driver's getting loaded. So it's all good. It's all good because all this stuff's been downloaded already. So it's all good. So there. Let's take a look. And I still think we need to upgrade to really see it. But look now. If you look now, you'll see now we're on February 2022 release of Cali. Bam. See, I tell you we're going to upgrade to the latest and greatest. I will often run the command again just to verify that nothing after the upgrade needs to be updated it usually gets everything the latest and greatest so this should go pretty quick and it should come back and it's going to tell us about things that are obsolete that we need to remove so that's a good thing so right here this touch of all these things were installed and are no longer required so we want to run apt oh auto remove okay are you sure yes all right um, so that gets rid of a bunch of garbage. You don't want that garbage. It's gone, man. It's gone. We want it gone. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't like the Parallels user. So what I'm going to do is add a new user. And that's simple enough. I'm going to user add. And I do have to be root to do this. Or I have to do sudo and then user add. Dash and then m. And then tech troublemaker. Okay. So the dash m is going to add the home directories and set the permissions and all that so bam okay if i were to do uh, ls home you would see now there's a parallels and a tech troublemaker home directory so automatic create home directory so that's very cool very easy now i want to set the password on tech troublemaker because it doesn't have one yet spell it right okay yeah, okay, I'm gonna do a complex one here too. Okay, password updated successfully. Okay, so I got the Tech Troublemaker account. Password updated successfully. Now here's the catch. If you create just a normal user, because I didn't make this a system user, it does not have sudo rights. If, let me show you for example. Nope, oh, you're not Sudoers file. Sorry. So here's how you can add them to Sudoers. User mod, dash A, dash capital G, and then sudo, and tech. And you gotta spell user account correctly. Okay, so now it's in Sudoers. So, that's you, that troublemaker. Okay, who am I? Take Trollmaker. Cool. Now I'm going to sudo to su dish doom. Bam. There you go. Just that simple. Now that account is the bomb. Now I'm going to reboot and log in to this computer as Take Trollmaker. The dash R means reboot. And when I say now, that way I don't have to go and type in a message to send all the users. I'm the only user in the box anyway. So what's the matter? Okay. Now I'll go to the drop down. She's my tech troublemaker account. And to da, here I am. Now I know it's all about aesthetics. But now that I've upgraded to 2022.2 of Kali Linux, I want this to say that. So click here. And I go right here. And I know every time I make a change, I'll have to update it, but that's fine. I can live with that. But I want to match. So there, that's how you do that. All right, that's it. That's how you install Cali Linux on Parallel 17 on M1 Mac and how you update it to the latest and greatest and how you create a user account for yourself. I hope you found that really helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.